What's going on, Tackle Warehouse fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New with TW. Thanks for joining us this week. I know a lot of people are stuck inside. Um, we got stuff to help you beat your cabin fever, and if you're able to get out and go fishing, we got a bunch of new baits to help you out catch more fish as well. First couple things we got here, coming straight from Japan, from Duo Realis, we got the new Duo Realis 130 jerkbait. Uh, this is the biggest jerkbait they've ever offered in their lineup. You can see it's a little over five inches in length, so just magnum sized bait. It's got that, that same weight transfer system and all the technology that's been in all the previous jerk baits just now in an upsized model. So you've got that tungsten balls in there that slides to the tail. So you get tremendous casting distance. They slide back down to the front. When you start your retrieve, you get that perfectly balanced suspending action. They dart and dive all over the side or all over the place. They also have flat sides on them. So as they roll and twitch, you get a lot of flash out of these jerk baits as well. Come ready to go right out of the box. Got three sticky sharp, um, you know, kind of a slick gray coated treble hook on there. They blend in a little bit more and they're, they are razor sharp. So awesome jerk bait. If you're looking for that bigger profile, if you have a lot of gizzard chat or just bigger forage in your lake, you're definitely going to want to check this one out here from Duo Realis. Another, another larger offering from Duo Realis. This one I'm the most excited about here. So this is the new uh, Spin Bait 100 Spy Bait. So, Everyone knows, you know, the spy bait came out, uh, you know, five, six years ago, however long it's been, and uh, it, it lit the fishing world on fire there for a little bit. So it's a tremendous finesse technique developed out of Japan. You know, these prop style baits, they, they work really good in clear water. And when you have really pressured fish, suspended fish, they're just, uh, you know, they do really well when, when other things won't catch any fish at all. Uh, you know, all the other sp spy baits and spin baits on the market, they've traditionally been really small in size, you know, quarter ounce, three eighths ounce, real small profiles. Uh, the original spin bait from Dual Realis is 80 millimeter. This is now 100 millimeter and it weighs five eighths of an ounce. So no problem throwing this thing on bait casting equipment on your, on your favorite, you know, uh, your shallow diving crankbait rod, you'll be able to throw this thing a mile and you're gonna be able to use heavier line as well. A uh, bunch of great colors, just like all the spy baits I've always had. And like, just like the jerk bait, got those sticky, sharp, gray coated trebles on there. So a little bit bigger now, so you can upsize your tackle. You don't have to go down to the, the ultralight spinning rods and five pound tests. So you can beef it up a little bit, use heavier tackle and not be, uh, you know, not be outgunned by catching bigger fish on that light stuff. The next up we got, so we got a bunch of stuff back in stock that we used to carry in the past. It's now back available uh, for popular demand by a bunch of customers. So we got a full line of Persuader uh, spinner baits and buzz baits. We used to carry these things a long time ago and now we finally got them back. They've got some super cool designs. The Persuader's up from, is developed from up around the California Delta. They have some super cool stuff. So the first one here is their Image Blade spinner bait. As you can see here, the blades, you know, as it gets its name, have They've got printed images on the blade and they have everything from bluegill, perch, um, they have shad, shiners, blueback herrings, I believe, and just the, their spinner baits in general are just built, you know, premium components, sampo swivels, uh, you know, big razor sharp mustad five out hook on there, uh, really good high, high detailed skirts with a lot of different, a lot of different colors blended in there so you get a really good profile, just super cool design there from, from Persuader. And their whole buzzbait line is outstanding as well. So we got their big double buzzer. We got the single buzzer with a clacker. One thing I wanted to point out on there is they have a really wide flat head design. So these things get up and they get on plane real quick. And they got that big mustad five odd hook on there as well. Heavy gauge, I believe it's 0.048 wire, or 0.045 wire. So heavy duty wire, you're not gonna bend these things out even when you're getting large caliber fish. Couple other buzz baits they got are their, their double blade here. It's got the two, the two blades and then it, we have the blade in a blade. So this is a, a traditional Delta, you know, metal Delta buzz blade with a plastic, you know, four, four bladed buzz blade in the middle of it. So you're gonna get a completely unique sound and action. So when everyone else is going down the bank, you know, especially that time's coming up really quick for the buzz bait bite to be just red hot. So. Everyone's going down the bank with a standard buzz bait. You want to throw something a little bit different, try something like this blade in the blade, you know, blade in the blade or the, you know, this double blade option they got here, double buzzer, whatever you want. All their buzz baits are phenomenal. Uh, another bait that we got back in that we used to carry a long time ago is the Storm Deep Diving Flat Wiggle Wart. So we all know the Wiggle Wart is, you know, a legendary crankbait that's been around for decades. This Deep Diving Flat Wiggle Wart is just, 
going to give you a little bit different action. It's going to be a lot tighter and just a, a lot tighter vibration than the traditional wiggle wart, which, you know, is real wide wobble and it hunts all over the place. This one still hunts, but it just has a little bit more toned down action. So this is going to be really good when you have a little bit more fishing pressure and you're dealing with cold water. So if you're a little bit far, if you're up a little bit farther north and your fish are still in that pre-spawn mode, I would definitely check this one out and maybe throw this one in your tackle box because this is going to fish a lot better than your wide wobbling crankbaits in that cold water season. All right, for all the tube fishermen out there, so we got a new tube jig head from Swagger. This is the Swagger Tungsten Compound Tube Head. So it's made out of a special compound material. So you're going to get the same size as, as lead, this, you know, the same overall profile as a lead tube jig head, but this is a completely lead-free jig head. So if you fish in those areas that, it, you know, they ban lead, you got to have lead-free tackle. Uh, you know, it's really hard to find, uh, you know, tube jig heads and, and especially jig heads in general that aren't made out of lead. So Swagger Tackle got you covered, giving you a completely lead-free option for, for tubes. All right, so if you are stuck at home and you're making baits and um, tying jigs and stuff like that, we got a bunch of stuff for you. So the first one here is the new Wheel Vice from Hairline. So, uh, it, you know, this is a must-have if you're at home and tying jig, jigs up. I've tried to tie them on the table and like just hold them in place. It's just, it's not the deal. So uh, a good vice is super awesome to have. I think they come in at $14.99. Uh, it's a really good price. So it's got the C clamp on there. So you can attach this anywhere you want. You can, you know, set it up on your, you know, on a counter, in the garage, workbench, you know, nightstand, whatever you're doing and, uh, and tie your jigs. And it's got the adjustment on the side so you can go up and down. And then it just has this heavy duty wheel and the clamp on there for your hook. So you just, just lock down your jigs and your hooks and you can, you know, get right to tying. So uh, this is the time, you know, a lot of, I see a lot of orders going out with skirting material and jig heads and things like that. Um, you know, if you're stuck at home, this is the time to, you know, build up your arsenal for the whole fishing season. So build some jigs, got the new hairline vice for you. Another do it yourself tackle, uh, tackle project we got here. We got the new do it uh, Midwest finesse jig mold. So Ned rig, been one of the hottest techniques over the, the last few years. So do it is giving us uh, the Midwest finesse jig head molds. So the, these ones are unique, um, a little bit more unique than most of the other jig head molds we have. Most of the jig head molds have a variety of sizes in them, but we just got three of the Ned rig molds that actually, uh, the molds inside are all the same weight. So I believe we have eighth ounce, three thirty seconds, and 16th, I believe are the uh, are the three sizes that we have. So with, you know, six of them in there, you can go to town and start pouring jig heads and powder coating them different colors, whatever you like. We have the, you know, the little wire forms and the hooks that go with it as well. So if you're, you know, another at home project, if you're building jig heads and you like to throw Ned rigs, you know, start pouring them and save yourself a lot of money doing that. All right, we got a bunch of new glasses here. One, this time of the year, probably one of the most important times of the year to have good quality sunglasses. The first ones we got here are from Solar Bat. These are the new Solar Bat floating, floating bat ones, I think is what they're called. Uh, we got a few different colorways. They come with the strap on the back already pre-installed, so just keep them on your head a lot better and you, they hold on to try to prevent those accidental losses flying off in the wind. And since they're floating, if they do fly off, if you know you hit a bump or something like that and they do fly off into the wind, they will float, so you're not going to lose them. And they have the chartreuse sides on them, so if they are floating in the water and you have to go back, they're going to be a little bit easier to find than something that's, you know, black or blue or kind of a matte color that's maybe hard to pick up in the water. So floating glasses, oh, they have the polarized lenses on there, super high quality, so you're going to be able to see all the fish down there. Uh, comfortable nose pads, so looking for a good quality pair of sunglasses. I believe these are about 80 bucks. Check those out from Solar Bat. And then we got a bunch of new sunglasses from Wiley X. So we got three new frames. These are the Contends here. These ones here are the new Breach sunglasses. And then right here, we have the new Gravity sunglasses. So the, the Breach and the Gravities do have the foam inserts in them. You can take them in and out, but they provide that really nice seal around your face to keep, you know, debris and stuff like that out, you know, from flying in, you know, doing long boat rides or if you're out maybe riding a motorcycle or something like that. These are really nice to have. Um, but also, all these glasses feature the new Captivate lens. So Wiley X has got new Captivate lens technology for their polarized lenses. And what Captivate does is it kind of cuts out the, 
the light that's in between different wavelengths of colors. So what that's going to do is gonna, it's going to make individual colors more vivid and just pop out a lot more. So you're going to get better contrast, better depth perception, and you know, th you're going to be able to see things a lot more clearly uh, than traditional polarized sunglasses. So we got these three new frame styles that all have the Captivate lens, and then we also have the Captivate lens technology throughout a few existing uh, sunglasses that we got from Wiley X as well. So if you're at home doing some storage stuff, now's a great time to get some new tackle bags and, and stuff like that to organize. So we got a whole bunch of new series of tackle bags from Flambeau. So we got here, we got their Adventurer series. We also got the Pro Angler series, and then we got the Heritage series. So, um, you know, a bunch of bags, a bunch of different sizes throughout, throughout the whole line of all the Flambeau bags. I believe we got about 10 different bags in. So you want to go check out, you know, all the different options. They got everything from you know, these small, medium-sized bags, big backpacks, you know, small, soft plastic bags. So they got, kind of, you know, kind of every, every level covered there. Some of the things they did on there is they kind of put these new, these new G-lock hooks on there to close the lids. So, um, you know, eliminating some zippers in some crucial areas, going to make, you know, going to make your bag a lot, more, a lot more durable and just hold up a lot better over time. You know, these Pro Angler bags, they got some cool features on them. They have, you know, the, the line spooling station built into the side. So you can put like your leader material or just a spool line, keep it in that bag and you have the, the line feed coming out the side. So you can, you know, easily feed more line out. And on these Pro Angler series, they have these new um, extendable back pieces on here. So you can open these up and extend it out and add a couple more boxes in there. So. You know, if you're if you're going to do something where you kind of need specialized equipment, or you know, just you need a few more extra things that don't fit in your normal bag, you can throw a couple extra boxes in there on the side. And then we also got the new backpacks, so they got the G-lock hook, you know, hook and loop closures on the on the side as well. These open up. They've got like saddlebag style extra bags in here. Got boxes in them already. So you know, if you're for organizing stuff, doing revamps in the garage is the best time to do it. Make sure to check out all the new Flambo stuff. Also, got a new shirt, got new shirts in. If you guys haven't seen already, we got tons of new tackle warehouse apparel in. Uh, this is one of our new neon shirts. Make sure to go to our brand page and check out all the new shirts, sweaters, you know, stuff like that that we got in new designs. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. For more information or purchase products seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.